very cool news from Vinci's Open Architecture. The team from OEA now also has created an MCP server for Vinci's Open Architecture and with a really very old demo project. They did something really cool. So let's see what happens now. This is an old demo where uh, colors are getting mixed. And yeah, we are asking for make the factory ready for producing 500 liters of a certain type of color. And what Claude is now doing, yeah, it tries to fetch some data points. Yeah, let's see. Also, some tries to find some recipes. Yeah, then it checks the tank levels. Now let me search for any raw recipes again. Okay, so it, it's really fantastic what what kind of different things the large language model tries to do to to achieve the command. Yeah, it says now it has found a recipe. Okay. Yeah, then it tries to get some values from the current tank levels and the factory state. Okay. Okay, it now tries to calculate material requirements. Interesting. He's doing this with a JavaScript. And again, all this is just possible by having an MCP server to uh, functions. So in MCP, they call it tools um, for Vincis Open Architecture. So, ah, it, it discovered now that there is an in, insufficient uh, inventory for uh, material. So. So it tries to calculate now the maximum possible production with the current inventory. So that's interesting. So it really figured out. And again, we didn't configure anything. We just um, <clears throat> added the MCP server to this cloud desktop uh, with some tools yeah, to get data points, to get tags and read and write tags. Ah, now it comes up here with a, well, what's that? Okay, with a recipe, with a recommendation, cannot proceed with 500 liter, yeah, what we have told him to do, uh, because there's insufficient yellow material and it makes a really nice looking report. Okay, next steps. Okay, there are two options. Yeah, proceed with maximum possible production or option B is to wait for new material. Yeah, of course, we will choose option A. Okay, it now is doing a recalculation of the, of the recipe and the needed inventory. Yeah. Now it seems it is already setting some set points because it's doing a TP set. Okay, it creates a, a report one more time. Yeah, cool, factory ready for production. 320.1 liters. Okay. And here we see an overview uh, and what kind of material we need. Now we can see, we can now load the set points from AI. So then we see it and then we can start the process. Of course, starting the process should only be done after a human has verified the values. So you cannot always trust AI. <laughs> and now the production starts. Yeah. And I was able to do that without having any clue about how to produce or how to handle this factory. Yeah, pretty great. Thanks for watching.